Most engineered artifacts that you see around you are very rigid and stiff and strong. Most everything you see have multiple parts like springs and sliders and gears and cams. Whereas designs in nature are strong, but they're not necessarily rigid and stiff. They are strong and compliant. They're flexible. So the background technology that we developed is how to design structures that can withstand heavy loads that are very strong. Uh, at the same time, they are compliant or flexible. And so what we are creating is actually jointless mechanisms. One of the applications that we've done was for uh, morphing one shape to another. And the application I thought of was for aircraft structures. The flaps, when you're flying in an aircraft, you can see the trailing edge flaps that come out. And they provide variable lift for different flight conditions. But the downside to that is they also create a lot of drag. So if you could change the shape of the wing without having hinged flaps, then you will have a smoother airflow and you reduce drag, which means you're increasing the fuel efficiency. You know, Air Force was very interested in our approach. We were able to demonstrate the structure that is lightweight, it takes less power, and it can operate under different temperatures and it can move at different speed and it's certainly flight worthy. The next phase that we are moving into on the aircraft side is to um, put this on a commercial aircraft and uh, test out our wings. So a wind turbine blade is, is just another aerofoil that we can morph it to different wind conditions. In wind energy what happens is if the longer the blade the more energy you can capture. So a typical turbine, like a one and a half megawatt turbine, has a 100 foot long blade. When the wind gust strikes the tip of the blade, you have very severe stresses transmitted through the blade and to the gearbox. So to reinforce that, you have to use expensive materials and expensive reinforcement for the entire infrastructure. What we can do is by having a shape morphing trailing edge, just on the outer 25% of the blade. That will continuously sense the wind conditions and change its shape while the blades are rotating. What that does is it reduces the fatigue load. And we can have longer blades and capture more energy. So by having this variable geometry capability, we can capture, you know, 15% more energy. Our plan is to design build and test um, a utility scale turbine with our adaptive edge. Then after that, or if everything goes well, then we want to manufacture our adaptive trailing edge sections with built-in sensors and actuators here in Michigan. That's our plan.